come to here the simple example of lr of k parser to find out the chemical set of items with lookout symbols now this is the given simple example for this one in the closure of i0 we must add the augmented grammar and for that augmented grammar we must add the dollar as a lookout symbol okay now come to here so that is now closure of i0 where what is augmented grammar for this one that is called as s dash derivatives dot s and dollar is the that is called as lookout symbol for the augmented grammar it is one of the rule to add the dollar as a lookout symbol for the augmented grammar and after that there is a capital s okay so now uh, if there is a capital s uh, there is a productions for the capital s we have only one production so that is at that particular production okay with dot s derivatives dot cc with input string sorry now we must add the s production because of after that there is a capital s now s has a two produ one production add that production now where we have to calculate that what is the lookout symbol for this production how to calculate the lookout symbol for this production means this production can be added from the previous production because of after that there is a capital s so that's why it can be added for this one we need to calculate the lookout symbol from the previous production that means s dash derives dot s with input string is dollar now based on this we need to identify that what is the lookout symbol is it in the form of a derives alpha dot beta b beta comma a yes where b nothing but capital s okay s has a production so that's why where what is a what for this one what is the formula here first of beta comma a first of beta comma a means in place of beta there is a epsilon first of epsilon in place of a there is a dollar there is a dollar now whenever there is a epsilon simply we have to neglect the epsilon consider the dollar okay so for this s production what is that input symbol here that is called as a dollar we'll get that dollar our next one is after that there is a capital c c has a two productions in the given context of grammar now add those two productions with the dot c derives dot ac c derives dot d now we need to calculate the lookout symbol for these two productions how means now these two productions can be added based on the this production is it right now we need to calculate these uh, input strings or the lookout symbols from the particular given production that is called as previous production that is called as s derives c c that is called as a dot c c with input string is dollar now is it in the form of that is called as a derives alpha dot b beta comma a yes it is in the form of that is called as alpha derives a derives alpha dot b beta comma a now what is the formula here first of beta comma a e, here what is the beta here that is called as first of c first of c means what is the first of c here first of c equals to a and d that is first of c equals to a and d comma what is the symbol here dollar now whenever we have a terminal symbols or either any symbols in the first of beta those symbols can be considered as a lookout symbol for the next production and if there is any epsilon simply we have to neglect the epsilon and consider the dollar now there is no epsilon where there is a some symbol terminal symbols now those two symbols can be added for these two productions c derives dot ac with input string, strings are a r d c derives dot d with lookout symbols are a r d this is how to calculate the lookout symbols for the that is called as added production and next one is and next one is so now we had, we need to that is called as apply the go to function for s yes, and for c and for a and for d okay now apply the go to function i0 comma capital s now if you apply the go to function for that is called as after dot s okay 0 comma s now s dash derives s dot with input string is dollar is there any s after dot no simply have to leave it and next one is s is over now come to the i0 comma capital c so now if you apply the go to function for capital c it become s derives c dot c dot s derives c dot c with input string is dollar means 
now after that there is a capital c capital c means a non terminal symbol non terminal symbol has a productions two productions or those two productions c derives dot ac okay c derives dot d now here we have to identify that what is the that is called as a locker symbols for the these two productions now take the previous production that is called as s derives c dot c with input string is dollar now it is in the form of a derives alpha dot b beta comma a now where b nothing but capital c beta nothing but epsilon and a nothing but dollar now what is the first of beta here epsilon comma dollar now there is a epsilon if you will get that epsilon okay simply have to neglect the epsilon and consider the dollar that's why the looker symbol for these two productions is dollar dollar okay that is called as c derives dot ac with dollar c derives dot d with dollar okay so this is called as how you can identify the looker symbols now c is over on i0 of a okay now we need to apply the go to function for that is called as i0 comma a i0 comma a means simply have to set the dot symbol one position on right hand side okay so that is c derives a dot c with input string is a or d now after that there is a capital c c has a two productions now add those two productions c derives dot ac with and c derives dot d okay these two productions where we need to calculate the looker symbols for these two productions from the above production now it is also a in the form of that is called as a derives a derives alpha dot b beta comma a okay so that is called as c derives a dot c with input strings are a or d now what is the beta here epsilon as we know that epsilon if there is a epsilon in place of a a or d so these two input strings can be considered from the previous production d also having the looker symbols these input strings can be calculated from the previous production so this is how you can calculate the looker symbol for the that is called as the c derives uh, dot ac c derives dot d and a is over and next one is we need to apply the go to function for d also okay now here i0 comma small d that is called as go to of i0 comma d means simply we have to set the dot symbol one position on right hand side c derives d dot with input string is a or d till now till now i0 is over and next one is come to the i1 is there any symbol after that no simply you have to leave that and come to the i2 in i2 is there any symbol after that yes there is called as c is there and a is there and d now apply the go to function for capital c after that capital a after that capital d now next one is we are going to apply the go to function for i2 comma capital c i2 comma capital c that is s derives c c dot with input string is dollar is there any symbol after dot that is called as a capital c we have only one production that production already completed okay this is how to apply the go to function for that is called as i2 comma c after that we need to apply the go to function for a so what is that go to of i2 comma a means c determines a dot c with input string is dollar means after that there is a non terminal symbol capital c now we need to add the c productions c derives dot ac c derives dot d now how to calculate the looker symbol for this one means from this production now it is also in the form of a derives alpha dot b beta comma a okay then what is the first of beta here first of beta means epsilon then first of beta epsilon means in place of a there is a dollar now we'll get that looker symbol as a dollar for these two productions here also dollar this is i2 comma a now i2 comma a is over and next one is apply the go to function for i2 comma small d and next one is this is the i2 comma d i2 comma d means simply we have to shift the dot symbol one position on right hand side c derives d dot with input string is dollar okay and next one is so till now that is called as i2 is over and next come to the i3 is there any symbol after that yes there is a c and a and d so here also same productions a and d but the input strings are different now we need to apply the go to function for the capital c 
that is called as go to of i3 comma capital c so simply shift the dot symbol one position on right hand side c derives ac dot with input strings are a r d our next one is we need to apply the go to function for that is called as a okay that is called as go to of i6 comma c okay i6 comma c means now come to here if you apply the go to function for that is called as uh, now if you apply the go to function for that is called as i3 comma a we will get that the same production c derives a dot c with input strings are a r d that means now after that there is a capital c we need to add the that is called as a c productions c derives dot a c c derives dot d now we need to calculate the good uh, that is called as a looker symbol for, for these two productions okay in place of beta there is a epsilon if you have any epsilon simply we have to add the what are the that is called as uh, in place of a that is called as the terminal symbols these two productions can be added here okay so that means this entire productions can be repeated in the i3 so that's why no need to apply the go to function for a and similarly if you apply the go to function for i3 comma d it is already ended in the i4 so that's why no need to apply the go to function for that is called as i3 comma a and i3 comma d and next one is come to the i4 no uh, symbols after that and come to the i5 there is no any symbols after that now come to the i6 yes there is a production okay that is called as c derives a dot c now apply the go to function for the i6 comma that is called as a capital c c derives a c dot with input string is dollar and next one is if you apply the go to function for i6 comma a that is called as same production can be repeated which have in the i6 look at the uh, simple that is called as if i apply the go to function for i6 comma a that is c derives a dot capital c with input string is dollar and after that there is a c production okay add these two productions ac and c derives dot d okay now we need to calculate the that is called as a looker symbol for this one okay from the above production first of beta having the epsilon if there is a epsilon simply have to neglect the epsilon and add the dollar okay now look at the same productions which can be repeated in the i6 so that's why no need to apply the go to function okay for i6 comma small a and i6 comma d if you apply the i6 comma d it is already ended in the i7 okay now come to the i7 after that there is no any symbols and come to the i8 i8 no symbols after that and i9 there is no any symbols after that okay so this is how to calculate the canonical set of items for the with the looker symbols okay so our next one is we are going to uh, construct the lrfk parser okay with the help of this canonical set of items thank you